Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com. Today we're going to talk about Lord Skills, and more importantly, Economy Lord Skills. And this is one of your most important things that you can do to reduce the cost on your construction, your research, and your troop training. And that's uh, obviously what you need to be focusing on in order to reduce the amount of uh, speeds that you spend, and then the resources you spend on troop training. So setting your Lord Skills correctly is one of the most important things. And so you see it's going incredibly fast, don't freak out. The reason for that is because what I'm doing right now is I'm showing you that you cannot get to that final research tile unless you're an incredibly high lord level. So there's a research tile all the way at the end that has a ton of research speed on it, but you cannot get there unless you are lord level 80, and that's with none of the other things filled in. In order to fill out that final research tile, you have to be lord level 80, and you didn't fill out anything else. All you did was all the prereqs all the way up to get there. If you want to fill in all the research, construction, and troop training speeds, that's going to take Lord level 93. So most people are not going to be able to do that. There's only a few Lord 90 pluses in the entire world. So most people are going to have that. This is Lord level 71. And so what you're seeing here is you're seeing that I realize that Lord level 71, I cannot get there. So I'm not even going to try to get there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh it or reset my Lord skills. And I'm going to go back in. I'm going to show you the priority system that you should use in order to set your Lord skills correctly for your economy. And in order to fill in everything except for the final research tile, you need to be Lord level 64. And that's not in, assuming you, you're not VIP 31, 32 plus. You get Lord skills from VIP 31 plus. So that will uh, reduce that just a little bit. So what, we're going to, what we want to do is we want to take this economy preset and we want to make it into a priority system. You want to figure out how far you can get and you want to get to that point, fill it in, then go back in and fill in the previous ones. Because the higher level tiles have more percentages. So if you are Lord level 64 or above, then you can get to that final construction and you can do that. If you're not Lord level 64, don't even try to get there. You're not going to be able to get there and fill in everything else. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm going in, I'm filling in all the prereqs and healing cost reduction and healing speed are the ones that I always go through because that helps out in Blood Moon whenever you take a hit and you, it reduces the cost of food to... Uh, res all your troops. So that's why I'm doing it that way. But a lot of these, it's just kind of picking one. Um, I'm, you know, stone gathering speed doesn't matter at all. Troop trading capacity is one that's a big one to talk about. That doesn't actually reduce your cost at all. So troop trading capacity is what I would consider to be a peripheral. It's not as important as troop trading speed. You're not going to want to skip out on troop training speed or troop training cost reduction in order to get more capacity. It's just helpful. It allows you to train more troops at one time. It doesn't do anything more than that. Troop training speed, that's what matters. It reduces the speeds. So obviously fill in the capacity if you have the points for it. If you don't, then don't worry about skipping it. But these are the big ones. The research speed 2, construction speed 2, and 3. Those are the really big ones that you really want to focus on. Those reduce your time on building and on researching by quite a bit. And so I'm Lord level 71. I'm VIP 32 on this account. So what that means is that I can get to that final construction feed. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to dump all these points into these prereqs. But it's because I can't get to that final research tile. And I know that. So I'm completely fine with wasting all these points on these prereqs. You get a little peripheral stuff. Not that big of a deal. If you want to swap to this preset while you're gathering or something, like you might get a little bit more speed on it. So... I'm going to fill in this final construction speed 3. You see you get 130% by going all 30 points into it, so that's a big deal. And after I fill in construction speed 3, now what I'm going to do is starting from this point and moving back. I'm going to start filling in my troop training speeds and my research speeds. And I'm going to skip troop training capacity. On this video, I'm not going to skip troop training capacity because I know I got the points for it. But if you are right on the borderline, skip the troop training capacity. Just fill in the research speed, construction speed, and troop training speed. Those are the three big ones, and that's what you want one preset that can fill in all of those. So you see I'm going in and I'm picking and choosing which ones I'm filling in all the way. Um, if you can't get all of these maxed out, if you can't get construction speed 3 maxed out and max out the research speed and the troop training speed, that's fine. What I would do is I would make two Lord presets if that were the case for me. Um, I would make one for research and troop training, and I would make one for construction. And it sucks to use 40% of your Lord skills on that, but it is what it is. got to do it and it will reduce your timer by quite a bit. So now I'm going back in, and you see that I filled out all the constructions, the training speeds, and the uh, research speeds, and now I'm filling in the troop training capacities, and I'm going in and I'm filling in the healing speeds and the uh, healing cost reductions and everything else like that. One thing to note, there is one tile that gives you troop training cost reduction. That is basically the most important one when you are training. 
it reduces the cost of resources for the troops and it is basically the most important tile when you are training. So just get those priorities down, figure out how far you can get based on your Lord level and how many points that you have, and make multiple sets if you have to do that. So stay tuned for more combat skills that are coming out soon and more monster skills specifically that allowed me to score 40% more on the raid monster than I ever have before. Give me a like, give me a follow. Thanks for watching everybody and stay tuned for more skills.